The next area that I'd like to teach you about is another theory that I created called the Golden Hammer Theory of Publicity. And I named this after Abraham Maslow, the famous psychologist. He said, if you have a hammer, then the whole world is a nail. And what do I, what do I mean by that? Well, you're going to get a lot of leads. Some leads are right on target. You're in customer service. This lead says, what can companies do to improve customer service? You say, I'm on it. Then at the far end of the bell curve are leads that you're not qualified for. They're looking for a university professor. They're looking for government statistics. Well, you're not a university professor. You're not a government. You don't have statistics. You can't respond to them. But a lot of the leads in the middle you can respond to if you use the golden hammer. Now what I mean by this is you have to think intuitively, not literally. We get leads all the time, and you'll see leads all the time that will say, what can companies do to increase their profits in these difficult economic times? And I could respond and say, use publicity, because it's the least expensive and most effective form of marketing. And the reporter could say, sounds good to me. And another one of my clients could say, hire a forensic accountant because she might be able to see where you're spending money unnecessarily and that if you stop spending that money, it translates to the bottom line and you make profits. And the reporter could say, sounds good to me. Another client could say, well, your customer service staff, if you train them to keep a customer who's upset as opposed to losing them, then you're going to keep a customer for life. They become an advocate and an evangelist and you'll make more money. And the reporter could say, Sounds good. Notice the reporter never asked, how can customer service or forensic accounting or publicity lead to profits? That's where you're using the golden hammer because I take the golden hammer to mean no matter what the lead is, the answer is my topic. And we have a bunch of intuitive people here. And I want to suggest you lean on your intuition and say, how can I bridge from what the reporter wants to what I have so that it makes sense. I don't want you to jump over bridges here. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about if it makes sense.